Hello, this is Bear from Wave. How's it going? Here's the weekly update with the stock market. So today we're going to take a look at the Nasdaq, the S&P, the Dow. I think we'll also take a quick look at the DAX, and then we'll go over some U.S. stocks that are looking quite interesting in terms of uh, trade setups as well as just pure L wave analysis that are just looking good when it comes to yeah, just wave counts. So as always, these are not financial advice, just me sharing technicals on uh, L wave. And um, as always, I'll try not to edit the video too much. I actually try not to edit at all. So it'll be quite a raw form of the video so that you guys see the thinking process. And uh, I'll try not to mumble too much. Now, before we get started, um, as always, I just wanted to give a shout out to the Discord, which is completely free, and uh, just f find me there. You can ask questions, ask for uh, updates. I send um, update on uh, different things, indices, stocks, cryptos, as well as you'll find other traders, other analysts who like to join, and just just growing community of electricians. So again, it's completely free, and if you want to, you'll find the link in the description of this video. Now, enough been said. The Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq. On the last update, we basically what what's important. I'll, I'll try to be as quick as possible. Is I did see the scenario uh, last week. Um, actually, let me just zoom in here. We were here. We were down here last week, and uh, I s was looking for either a top here or I had this count with continuation higher, which we got, and uh, we now touched uh, eighteen thousand. And um, what, it, what what is interesting about the Nasdaq is, again, I'll try to, to be brief. I see strong RSI bearish divergence. We are again on the daily, as well as 18,000 is a strong level. As well as if we take a look at the CFDs, we can see how we do have increasing volume here, significantly a larger amount of volume right here, oops, right here, over basically started around here, this move up, and that's usually a sign of potentially a bear sellers stepping into the market after such a major uptrend with lower volume, having such increased volume is usually a bear sign. And uh, yeah, we, that basically confirms the fact that we could be close to the top. So are we gonna go down? I don't know, but um, um, at least when it comes to the indices, I'm not that bullish, uh, at least for the NASDAQ. The S&P is similar story. If we start with the CFD, we see how we don't really have the same volume. However, if we go on the cash market and we look at the count, we're getting a longer way five, which makes sense because three and one were pretty short we did not have a validation with this count, which I had for uh, several months now. We're trading at all time high, just like the NASDAQ and uh, bringing RSI into the table. Again, we are seeing at least for now, RSI bearish divergence, as well as we're trading at right around 5,000. So major psychological level, major number and uh, large numbers attract large orders. Again, as you can see here, a one, two, one, two, three, four, five into wave three, wave four, and now do we have a top? I don't know, I'm not sure. I guess we're gonna find out. Now for the Dow, again, I'm going quickly because I wanna show you a lot of things. As always, if you have more questions, either just take a look at the older videos or else just join the Discord and feel free to ask me there. So here on the Dow, I've had this count for a while complex or what I call time consuming wave four, uh, sorry, wave two, which started in December, 2022 and ended in October, 2023. So almost a year long consolidation to then explode to the upside. Now here I have two, two counts, two views, either the one you're, you're looking at. So let me zoom in a one, two, one, two, and now one to just basically continue higher. And please note, that we touched the quality of potential three against one, as you can see here at 39,000. So we touched that. 
um, or else I can see a potential one, two, three, four, five for wave one, pull back, and then continuation higher. For the time being, those are the two main counts that I see possible on the Dow. Do I think or can I see this being A or W, a B or X, and then downside? It's possible. It could be some sort of a flat. Um, we're still within the territory. Well, it makes sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not that bearish to be honest. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna find out. Um, again, also here we do have we do see our side divergence. Last but not least, for the indices, the DAX on the DAX, I'm bullish as I as as I can be. Um, let me just high volume. So I just see this as a one two one two, and I mean same play just. I don't see why I need to be bearish. A uh, target would be uh, for way three twenty thousand. As right now, next resistance should be eighteen eighteen thousand. Um, so right here, which maybe is where we can get um, resistance for way three. But overall, I do see a lot of upside potential here on the Dex, the German index. So again, sorry if I went briefly, but I have a lot. Of of things to show you um, as always uh, just uh, I, I said already uh, if you want to join the discord so a few interesting setups this is a caterpillar ticker symbol CAT which is part of a DAO if I'm not mistaken so I've had quite um, interesting oh nice quite some fun time to count all of this and that's this is the best count I came up with and it's also the most uh, aggressive. A one two with the 0708 crisis being the largest pullback. And then one two, one two, one two. Now, the, the reason why I like this count is because this is the largest pullback. And then every pullback was, they did overlap. By the way, they just kept on getting uh, smaller. As you can see, this is smaller than this this smaller than this, this is smaller than this, and this one is smaller than this one. So either there's the way I see it and the way I see it, not because I think so, but yes, you can say because I think so and because of L wave is either the count you're looking at or some sort of a diagonal, which I'm not sure to be honest. Um, it could be, but I don't really see why I should be that bearish. Nonetheless, if we focus on the shorter term, so at least usually when you get up, down, up, you look for at least equality. And equality year of what I label as three is at $371. And here I could see this as being wave um, to be honest, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, and five. And that's the most conservative count I can come up with. Um, you could say this is one, two, three, four, five. Put one here. But I like this count, to be honest. I see this as corrective. And uh, we look at volume. Well, did have increasing volume here and here makes sense but then we did we start to move higher with volume kind of Monday was uh, yeah I mean strong zone of resistance here it's clear by looking at volume um, so yeah but I, I, I just for the time being what, what could happen is this I guess but um, as long as we stay above 300 then um, I will remain bullish. So that's one setup. Then another interesting setup is on McDonald, which is Foreman. I see this as three down. I see this as three up. I'm looking for resistance around here and looking for one more leg down, which this is a component I think at McDonald should be in the S&P. But I don't want to say, I don't like to say things I'm not sure of. So 
forget what I said. Um, and here, looking at volume, you can see how we are starting to get increasing volume to the downside, which is usually a sign that um, the trend is to the downside. Um, so we, we could see this plane out. And um, what else can I show you? This is also an interesting setup here. If we zoom out on the weekly, this is um, ticker symbol AVY. I see this as continuation higher. This is more of a long term uh, play. Um, so, yeah, this purely like an L wave. I see this. This reminds me a lot of Costco. Um, let me show you. So, if I type in Costco, so here I remember when we were, I don't know why it's not showing up on the weekly. So, let me, okay. So, I remember when we were in here on Costco. So look at this triangle and then a one, two breaking the wave via the triangle. Okay. So just picture this. Okay. Go on the same time frame. One, two. Right around wave B. Technically, we did break wave B by a few cents, I guess, and then upside. So this reminds me of Costco. Now, does that mean it's going to play out the same way? I have no idea. Nobody knows. Um, but I, I mean, setup wise, it's I mean, it looks like a one, two. So um, guess we're going to find out. And then some other interesting setups that I have for you guys are uh, not sure actually. Um, I'm uh, Google, which I showed in the Discord today. I'm pretty bearish. I do see this as a potential top here, wave one, and I'm looking for a pullback to at least this area, hundred around around hundred and twenty dollars, um, right here, and then uh, what else? Not sure. I, I guess I guess it's gonna be it. Briefly, cryptos. Yes, quite the move here. Bitcoin. Crazy to the upside. I have been anticipating on the Discord here uh, the fact that this was way four. Um, I mean, I could show you, but if you join, you, you're just gonna find out yourself. But yeah, looking for for their upside to then get a pullback. And at this point, this pullback, if this is a count which is extremely bullish, but it's playing out. Then we could see um, at that point, we could find support on 50,000. Uh, Ethereum, I'm extremely bullish. And then we'll end up, where's ETH? ETH, I've been extremely bullish for quite some time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So far, it's playing out nicely. Um, I guess if it's going to fail, it's going to fail soon. So right now in validation, we stand here break south of uh, 2100 and then um, at that point eventually we'll, we'll reconsider but so far so good again none of this is financial advice if you have questions just let me know in the comments if um, yeah hope you enjoyed the video as always the analysis and i hope to see you in the description thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one